In this lesson, we're going to learn how detach and attach can help us during the modeling process. Alright, so attach and detach will allow us to create geometry and combine them or um, separate them as different elements. And this is going to be a very helpful tool uh, whenever creating objects like props and things like that and giving them the functionality that they need. So what we're, we're going to do is we're going to create this door for our door frame and then what we're going to do is we're going to split it and attach it or detach it into different objects depending on our needs. So to get started let's go ahead and create just a simple plane and we're going to go to our front view and we're just going to create this about the width of our door here and we'll go to something like 2 on our length and we'll do 0.75 on our width and that should give us plenty of room to work here and I'm going to go ahead and push that back into the door frame. There we go. And now what I'm able to do is I can convert this to an edible poly and get to work. So I'm going to go ahead and select the edges right across the middle here. And I'm going to connect that, which is a single edge or single segment right down the middle. And then I'm going to go to edge mode, select all of the edges right down the center. Uh, let's try that one more time. Right down the center and then we'll use connect. And we're going to do uh, four segments here and I'm going to go ahead and pinch those apart. I'm going to hit OK and I'm going to select just these two loops here. Let's hold down control and switch over to vertex mode so we can scale those apart evenly from the center. And there we go. Let's go to edge mode, select this one edge right here. We're going to drop that down. It's going to create something kind of like a tooth. Kind of where these uh, this door is actually two panels and it actually slides apart into one another. So in this case you can see that we've built this out of one single object but what happens if we want to split this apart into two? How do we get that? Well before we move on into that let's talk about uh, well let's actually get our detail and just kind of show you just how flexible this workflow is. So to get started let's go ahead and grab these corners of our door and I'm going to drop that down Okay. And I'm going to hit F3 just so I can see this, okay, just to make sure that it's not poking through. And I just kind of want to round this out a little bit. Let's grab those up, drag those up just a little bit, okay. And then I'm going to grab all of these polygons here, and I'm going to use inset. Let's hit F3 just to see this. Let's go ahead and change the color of that object too, and apply that gray material just to make it easier to see. All right, so let's make sure that we have, yeah, let's go ahead and turn off polygon mode and let's try to apply that material to the whole thing. There we go. Now let's inset this and let's give it a little bit of a rim here. And you'll notice that using inset, sometimes if we get going too far, the polygons begin to cross one another and that can cause some issues. So what we can do is we can actually inset to zero and then use our scale tool to scale that a little bit better. Okay, so that way we won't have to deal with some of that crossing issue. Okay, let's go ahead and um, let's inset that again, but we're going to go just a tiny, tiny amount. Okay, and we're just going to scale that in all three directions just to give ourselves a little bit of a ridge here. And I'm going to scale that in the X a little bit. And then I'm going to bevel. I'm going to push that down into a negative direction. So negative 0 0.025 and then we'll do a 0 0.01 on our bevel amount. We're going to inset that again to zero. Scale that in. You may have to pinch that in the X a little bit to get that to straighten out some. Okay, so just try to get a consistent edge all the way through that. And then what we'll do is we'll bevel that again. But this time we're going to go into a positive direction, just to kind of bring that back out. So we'll do 0 0.025 and then a 0 0.1 bevel. Okay, so just adding a little bit of detail to our object. All right, so let's do the same thing down here. I want to create a little bit of a different shape down here along the bottom, though. So I'm going to go to edge mode and I'm going to select these edges. Let's do connect. And we're going to do just a single edge. 
at 0. I'm going to hit OK, and then with all of these edges selected, I'm going to scale that in the Z just to straighten that edge out. And it won't go beyond uh, the straight line here. So if you scale that up, if you continue to scale that, it's not going to scale apart. Okay. All right, so that's a straight line. And then I'm going to go to Edge Mode and select just this one edge and move that straight up. So I've kind of created this counter um, design here. Let's take all of these edges in this loop and let's bring that up to something right around in here. Okay, I'm going to grab these edges right here. I'm going to pull those up a little bit higher. Okay, all right, so that's I'm pretty happy with that design there. I'm going to go ahead and just pull that down a little bit lower. And that should give me exactly what I'm looking for. All right, so now um, if I come in, I can add that design into this door. So I can inset this. And let's try that one more time. Inset that to zero. We'll scale it in all three directions. And then I'm going to bevel to a negative direction, so we'll do negative 0.25 and actually negative 0 or 0 0.025 we'll inset scale and then we'll bevel in a positive direction, so 0 0.025 and hit OK. So that gives us our a little bit of a design here in our door. Now this is all one solid piece Okay, and we that was the intention whenever we modeled this, but now we've come up to the issue of, okay, well, in our animation uh, for this set, we've decided to make these doors um, actually split apart and they slide from top to bottom. So how do we how do we get these objects uh, to work that way? Well, what I can do is I can go to edge mode, select this loop right here because it's such a natural seam for this. I can go ahead and use split, and that will split those vertices from one another. And then what I'm able to do is I can go to element mode and I can select the top of this door and then also select the bottom and now there are two different elements and they can be moved independently. Now what happens here is that this, these two elements even though they are separate they are still one object so they are attached together. So I want to detach them to make them two different objects. So I can select one element which is going to be the top of my door here and I'm going to use detach and it brings up our detach options. We can detach it to the element that it's part of but it's already part of this element. We can detach it as a clone so it will keep the original object and create a new um, part of the top door here or I can leave those unchecked and just call this door underscore top. Okay. And so now I've got door top, and then I have this object, which I can rename to door bottom. Okay, so now these two objects can be moved independently of one another, and I don't have to access element mode to move those around. Now it may come to a point to where you have several of these doors, and you only need certain ones to animate. What happens if you want them to be one single object again? Um, for example, I want to actually create a crease in between these doors. And the crease is going to be a little hard to get um, if these are two different objects. So what I can do is actually attach them together. So if I activate attach and select the lower door, it is now one object. But remember, it's still two different elements because they are not welded together. The vertices have been split okay across that edge so let's go to vertex mode and select all of those vertices along that edge okay go to the back side to see that and then we'll simply use weld hit weld settings and you'll see right here that we have a threshold so any vertices that are within this distance of one another will weld together you can see here that you have a account of your vertices and this is before so at 122 now after our weld it will be 116 in this object so all we have to do is just simply hit OK and now those objects are welded so I can go to element mode and you'll see that it's now one single element so now what I can do is I can go to edge mode 
and I can create those details that I wanted. So I wanted to chamfer this, and we'll do point 0.1, and then I'll go to my polygon mode, and I'll select that loop, and I'm going to bevel this. Okay, let's take that amount up just a little bit. So we'll do something like 0 0.005, and then we'll take that amount backward just to create that division in the door. And then I'm going to hit OK. And then I'll go to Edge Mode, select one of these edges right on the inside, and we'll hit Ring. And I'm going to use Connect to create a single segment. Okay, and this is going to allow me to split on this object. Okay, so I can simply hit Split, or what I could do is go to Polygon Mode and just remove that and delete those polygons and take the individual elements now, okay, because they're no longer connected by vertices, and I can adjust those down a little bit. So now I have this crease in between the doors that I wanted. So now I'm going to take this top door, or actually the bottom door, as you can see, door top, even though this is the element that's selected, and I'm going to detach this. So detach, and we'll do door underscore bottom, and then hit OK. So now there are two different objects once more. All right, so that's how we can use attach and detach to model objects and to modify them however uh, or for whatever purposes our project needs. And in our next lesson, we're going to talk about how to solve difficult shapes in geometry.